Hello, everybody, and welcome to another Jurassic... Oh, God, just fix that mic. There we go. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another Jurassic World Evolution. But not a Jurassic World of... God, I've been doing too many of those videos lately. To an... Well, welcome to an unboxing video for take number three, basically. And as you can see before you today, we have something very special, and that is the... Strike and Roar Giganotosaurus, which is one of the most divisive toys, I must say. While it is the featured antagonist of Jurassic World Dominion, which finally I've been able to get my hands on after, like, literally months of trying to find one for a reasonable price rather than one that's, like, $200. Oh, God. Well, I finally have found one, and I gotta say, if we just bring it over here, it does not actually disappear actually and I gotta say for the most part it actually is pretty good I'd love the sculpt for the most part the only part I would say is probably the head actually which weird because if you look in the movie you'll actually notice that um, like T-Rex and some other um, carnivores um, Giganotosaurus actually has a overbite just like T-Rex does and in fact you may actually see, you'll see both of them in the poster behind you. Both of them have their mouths open there, but they both actually in the movie have an overbite, meaning that their top, the top part of their jaw overlaps the teeth on the bottom jaw. However, strangely enough for this one, they decide to change it and make the um, bottom jaw as wide. And I think it's because of the fact that the design is similar to the Indominus Rex, actually, which is one of the reasons why the Giganotosaurus looks the way it does in the movie, because for those who may not recall, the Giganotosaurus actually is one of the DNA factors that created the Indominus Rex, and also, consequently, the Indoraptor as well, which is very important for a lot of reasons, but I guess they did it just to show, like, the similarities, because for the Indominus Rex toy, they had it, like, pretty much the same in this way, like the teeth like going in between each other and stuff, which I guess it's fine for a toy, but as someone who wants it to be as good as it can, it's a little annoying, though I could easily fix that if I wanted to on my own. We have Rexy on the table, and also, yeah, I painted her, guys, because honestly, it's one of the most annoying things with Rexy toys. They never paint the scars, and also, speaking of which, I'm surprised there's no scar marks on this guy, because like, for the Giganotosaurus in the movie, it was shown to have a lot of scars, but I think we should waste no time and just get them out of the box. And there we are. Here is the Giga at last, unleashed to join Rexy and the Therizinosaurus, which is, well, holding a music album at the moment by Michael Caccino, so I can't really move him just yet, but here Oh, hold on. There we go. Here it is, the Giganotosaurus itself. And if you see in the... Let's move it to this camera. And actually, I gotta say, the sculpt on this one is, for the most part, actually really good. Like, honestly, this action feature, which we'll get to in a minute, is actually really good. And also, interesting how they did the um, feet on this guy. Because with um, most of the two... Um, large carnivores, and even regular carnivores, I think. Um, I'll probably show it in this camera. Yeah, 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 Rex, I know. You'll notice that their back toe claw is always, like, just merged with the foot itself, so it's not, like, actually there. And they never paint them, which is a bit unfortunate. I think for the Hammond Rex is the only exception, which... Uh, I don't know about you guys, but it's back there. Which I cannot wait for. Stay tuned for that, because, oh my god, I've been waiting for that for so long. But, while for Rexy here, its back toe claw is merged, that you can clearly see on this version that not only are they differently sculpted, actually, but both of them are protruding outwards, which is very interesting, I must say. I actually really like it because it just it makes it feel more proper and stuff. These ones, I never like them just folded there because it's like, why is it like, it's as if it's growing into its skin, which honestly, I think would be a little bit painful if you ask me. Paint job on this one does leave a little bit to be desired, in my opinion, especially for like the tail here, which honestly, it's like they 
on both sides actually they just did one little mark and then like the rest was gone which I'm pretty sure this paint job here would go all the way and before I activate its electronics um, scan code is right here let me just put that here hopefully it'll be in focus if not well I'll just insert an image or something of it but honestly this is actually pretty good and stuff and also I think it has Oh no, it has the same... Oh no, they're a little bit bigger. Okay, I was just wondering if its feet were bigger. Although, interestingly enough, the head of the T-Rex is way bigger than the Giga. Let's get into the action features for this, which also posability in the arms, and are the legs separate? Oh yeah, they are. Oh, so it's not like T-Rex, so I can... I can have the Giga charging towards, which I gotta say is... Oh, oh my god, it stands! I didn't even do anything, like, just because... Okay, that's cool. That's nice, and it's only one toe claw that's on the ground, actually, and I didn't even adjust the feet, so... Already, like, for posability, this one... Despite, like, the only problem is this, because, like, if you want it to, like, stay up, you have to, like, align it in the proper spot, otherwise it'll just fall down, but that's fine. And, honestly, for this guy, I cannot wait to see what a Hammond Collection version of him will look like. But, first, before we get him fighting with Rexy, let's just listen, let's just look at the features. Now, he actually has two buttons for animations. He has a top one, which, interestingly, it's rubber. Yeah, it's rubber, like, uh, I'll put that in the camera, but you may notice, like, as I'm moving them, like, the spikes are actually, like, folding into the pressure, whereas these ones are obviously, like, like, this is hard plastic, like, and then this, yeah, that's rubber, like, that only, that clicking sound is literally just the mechanics underneath of it, and... For it being rubber, the only time I've ever seen that for like a Mattel figure, at least for the recent time, is the Carcharodontosaurus, which I didn't cover on the channel, but I actually do have. I think you might be able to catch a glimpse of it on the um, third shelf, the one above Therizinosaurus and um, the Jurassic Park 3 film collection, which I honestly could just say that's the Jurassic Park shelf, because like literally... I've got the movies on the four shelves. But anyway, let's go to the first animation. Okay, so it's sort of like a swing attack. And it comes with a nice grumble and stuff, like the of the um, Giganotosaurus. Now, what is it? It's bottom one, it's the opening the mouth. Um, okay, well, first of all, th that's cool, I like that, so, like, if I put them both together... Oh, that's how you do it! Ooh, nice, ch ooh, nice chomping, so, interesting, so... If you press them together, it's sort of supposed to be like a swiping motion, so like it's about, like maybe it swings its head, which is probably what the top one is on its own. Which makes sense, because if we look at Giganotosaurus's fighting technique, it uses its own body weight to smash into its opponent. Is interesting. Okay, th th that's interesting. I, I swear, I know that. Isn't that the T-Rex roar? Like... I swear, I'm pretty sure that was in Dominion, too, but, like, the other ones were as well. Like, there was that one. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that's pure Giga. That one's pure Giga. Like, that's the one where, like, the first time we saw the the full look of it during the se later sequence in the movie, like, when it's, like, Giga on a source, the biggest carnivore the world ever seen. That's that roar. What's, is there any others? Okay, so that's sort of like a mix, slash a little bit of a brawl, so it's like, that's the one that's like, it's in the middle of the fight, it's also chomping, which kind of, the chomps sound like the ones that it did when it was eating that locust, but is there any other? Okay, so there's three roars, but that one right there, like, I swear, like, that came from the T-Rex, right? Because that, that roar was immediately when the Giga nearly killed um Rexy and like oh my god remember that 
that shot where the Gigas like throws her into one of the um, Biosyn's um, copper um, statue things and like it falls, you just hear Rexy go like, oh, and then like you just hear this gasp that just that roar and then like everyone looks and you see Rexy looking like she's actually dead in the Giga, which, oh my god, despite how mixed I feel about that final fight, I absolutely love that shot. That shot shocked the hell out of me. I saw that in the theater and I thought I was dead or something because my heart wasn't beating until the f fight ended and I was like, oh my god, did they kill Rexy? But I thought that came from Rexy. It's interesting. But now, when it comes to the Giga as a whole, I, I gotta say, it's not as bad as people were saying, honestly. For me, at least. Because, like, people were, like, really annoyed about this. I will say for paint job, like, apart from that, there is a little bit of an issue on, like, this side where... Oops, sorry. Ah, the Giga got another attack on Rexy. Ooh, clever girl. Or, I think the Giga's actually male, so clever boy. But this guy's got a little bit of a paint issue here. Some sort of milky gray, which I think it's because, like, the Super Colossal and some versions... Sometimes, like, these guys have, like, a marble painting sort of look to them, which is a little bit weird. I think it's supposed to be, like, scars or, like, faded scars, but it's weird that it's here. I think it's just, like, because of the motion and stuff, but I haven't used this yet. So, it's strange that it's that bad, and there's a little bit on the other side, but it's not as crazy. So, it, it might be. I don't know. But other than that, I'd say that this Giga, I'm going to say, I'm going to give this a... 8 out of 8 out of 10 honestly like I, I want to give it higher but the things that are holding me back are the tail being are the back end basically being completely neutered and stuff like there's no paint work here like as soon as it gets to this rubber button here it's sort of like is like uh yeah we'll, we'll put a little bit here but we don't want to put too much and the fact that the claws aren't painted again which is a little bit of a shame. At least the toe claws are, which is kind of funny seeing how the Super Colossal isn't. So, uh, I guess I'll take it, but honestly, this one, definitely not as bad as people were saying, but like, I, I still can't wait to see if there's a um, Hammond Collection version of this coming. I'll pro it'll, it'll probably be a little while, but I will definitely get that if that ever shows up. But guys, that is the Giganotosaurus. I'm sorry that this one took a little while. I think I posted about it a few weeks ago, because I, I got it a few weeks ago. But honestly, I think it was worth the wait for me. This one definitely is going to be an awesome addition to my collection. And if you guys have it in your collection, what would you rank it? And are you a fan of the Giganotosaurus, both movie-wise and like games or stuff? Or are you not as big of a fan of it? Personally, for me, I'm a huge. I've always been a huge fan of the Giga, and the fact that it got to join the franchise, even though it was kind of foreshadowed for quite a while now, it definitely made its mark. And honestly, I hope to see it again in the future. I think it was definitely underused in Dominion, but that's just me. Whatever your own thoughts are, leave them in the comments. But if you've enjoyed this sickly video, as I'm kind of a little ill, which honestly, kind of an insult that I'm doing the Giganotosaurus while I'm sick. Sorry about that, Giga, but I just wanted to get you out of the box. But if you've enjoyed this video, leave a like. And if you haven't already, do hit the subscribe button to join the hunt. Be safe, and until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Oh god, the surprise attack! Oh, they're going for each other! Oh.